So I got a new bag, a North Face Borealis. I don't know how big it is. I'm gonna guess at about six. If I can find the actual number, I'll um, I'll put it up on the screen. But I'd say it's about six liters, and um, it's really really cool. I could this perhaps could do with being a a tiny bit longer, but because um, I'm not the I'm not the biggest of guys, but um, maybe could do with it being a little bit longer. But as you can see, it's like a crossbody crossbody sling. You've got this sort of um, shoulder strap here with a with an extra compartment and then you've got the main compartment here so I'm just going to show you what i've got in here and uh, perhaps what you can do with it so first of all looking at the outside you can see you've got these bungees so you can put some gloves a hat a coat if you want to on there i'm not sure if i'd be doing that i mean i think if i'm i mean that sort of mode then i'm probably going to be taking a bigger backpack probably but but i don't know it's it's there it's easy to scrunch up a small coat i guess you've got some sort of webbing which as you can see i've got like a little carabiner and a little sort of tag on there so some sort of like accessorizing can be done on the uh on the on the, on the front of it if you like the main bag has got two compartments you've got this small one at the front which is soft and fluffy which instantly says it's a uh, sort of where you put your phone really to keep it nice and safe and then the main compartment here opens up with two zips but I tend to just open it up the top like this and uh, this is quite good you've got plenty of space in here you've got a you've got a, a slot at the back which goes all the way down Got, uh, I'll tell you what I've got in here in a minute, but you've got a, a slot at the back that goes all the way down. You've got a zipped section at the front with a little uh, little lanyard for your keys if you want to. And then you've got the, the whole sort of like main compartment. So I'm just gonna show you kind of what I've got in there just to give you an example. This isn't what I've been using it for, but I've, I've put some extra bulky items in here just to, uh, just to show you really. The bulky item that I wouldn't normally be carrying around with me is a book. So this is a nice big thick Stephen King paperback and that goes in the main compartment there. Reasonably straightforward. I've also got in here my wallet. I've got uh, Insta360 and a selfie stick in here. In the little sort of zipped pouch here, I've got some spare cable. So I've got a USB-C and a lightning cable. And I've also got just a, a little multi-tool and a torch. And those sit in that little zipped mesh bit on that side. In the back here, I've got a notepad. Keep them sort of like travel receipts and stuff like that in there. And just because in here I've got some sort of like alcohol wipes and stuff that I've just shoved in there because it's flat and it's quite handy quite a bit of space in the main bit in the front bit here which is uh, probably I don't know it's a little bit smaller and it's a little bit more awkward to get at because of the the size of the opening here so I've got a iPhone Pro 12 and you can see it doesn't quite fit that way but there's plenty of space for you to to jiggle it in and you can see I can get my hand right in there it's a it's a good space it kind of covers all of this really so I've got my phone in there and I've got uh, just a small notebook, some receipts from somewhere and my passport. Oh, and a pen. There we go. So I'm about to do some traveling with work uh, in two weeks time. And my intention is to use this for my my sort of my, my carry on, if you like, because I'm taking a bigger suitcase this time. So I'm just going to keep the minimal amount of stuff with me uh, to, to carry on the uh, on the plane. I'll probably be using this front bit for receipts and my passport and the pen obviously my wallet will go in there as well so that's all nice and secure and safe in that front bit now if you wanted to obviously you can get like some little mini night eyes carabiners or something and you could you could lock these up if you wanted to be secure about stuff this one here you could very easily just get get something to uh, to secure these or you can twist them a little that makes them not quite so easy to to undo so quite handy really 
back to this bit here. This is not huge, at least it doesn't look very big. I'll show you what I've got in there at the moment, just for example. I've got uh, Insta360 camera, Ooh, upside down. And I've got my pods, not AirPods, but these are, um, what are these called? I can't remember. They're called Sound Peats. Good budget alternative, if you ask me. So you can see plenty of space in there for a few items that you might wanna you might want to get at. Just to give you an idea how big that is, because there's a stretchy bit at the back. Again, my iPhone 12 Pro will actually fit in there because it stretches the mesh out at the back. So phone's quite handy to fit in there too. What I have been using it for when I've been out and about doing a bit of Christmas shopping over Christmas is uh, in typically, I've done one of two things. I've been putting my wallet, because that's probably what I've been getting at quite quickly, quite quite regularly even. Or also, just my keys saves me putting them in uh, the bottom of a bag or something and forgetting where they are. So, uh, quite a few different ways you can use it. So that's the North Face Borealis sling bag. Um, I paid 40 quid for it in this camo and I think you'll agree it's, it's pretty cool actually one more thing I nearly forgot it's also got on the side here bottle pocket it's not very big it's probably more suited to like a small umbrella or something really but I do have a bottle here which I don't know what size it is it's Sistema I think this is um it's probably only about 550, 600 mil. Uh, again, I'll check in a minute. And that'll just about fit in there, but because it's on the bottom, it's actually really awkward to get to. And that'll just about fit in there. So yes, it does have a small bottle thing, but uh, probably more suited to like a, uh, like a bottle of Coke or something like that, rather than uh, your own refillable bottle, unfortunately. So there we go, cheers.